Hey everybody, Diecast Rhino here. Today we're going to open a case of the new Hot Wheels Premium Pop Culture Vintage Oil Series, so stay tuned. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Glad you dropped by. I just got this case of the new Vintage Oil series from Hot Wheels, and I want to go ahead and open it up real quick, and then we'll take a closer look at what's in this set. So let's pop this case open and take a look at what's in it, and then we will look at the cars more closely. So here we go. There we are, very nice. Let's see here. 1937 Holland Gas. Thirty-eight Dodge Airflow. Another Airflow. Another Holland Gas. Let's see here. 78 Dodge Little Red Express, Shell, Shell Oil. Another one. 63 Studebaker Champ. Two of those. Three of those, actually. And 83... Chevy Silverado Golf Livery. Three of those in here as well. So basically two complete sets with an extra uh, Silverado and Studebaker Champ. Perfect. Let's take a look at them. Number one in the set is the 1937 Holland Gas with the Lionhead Motor Oil Deco. Lionhead Motor Oil was a product of the Gilmore Oil Company, and that company was founded shortly after A.F. Gilmore struck oil while drilling a well for his dairy farm in California in 1903. Gilmore Oil, at its peak, operated over 3,000 gas stations on the West Coast. And in the 1940s, the company was bought and then eventually merged into the company that would become Mobil. Part of what makes this uh, set so awesome and so collectible is the card art. And let's take a look at this card for the Holland Gas. I think this is probably my favorite one out of all the ones. Um, not talking about what Hot Wheels did, but just the logo itself, the, uh, the old lion head logos. This is a phenomenal logo. Um, you just don't see logos like this anymore with this much detail and artistry. Um, you know, logos today are all dumbed down uh, as much as possible so that uh, they could be used as avatars or icons on a mobile device or something like that. You know, if, if Gilmore were founded today, I guarantee you their, their lion would be a, a simplistic, uh, almost cartoonish depiction of a lion. You see a couple of slogans on the card as well. Monarch of Oil there, and then probably one that's a little more well-known, Roar with Gilmore. Absolutely fantastic. So now on to the car itself. This crazy looking truck is a Hot Wheels original, technically, but it is very, very closely based on an actual tanker truck called the Diamond T Doodlebug, or the Texaco Doodlebug, as Texaco was uh, one of the major companies that used it the most. Uh, it was a futuristic looking tanker that had no hood, no cowl, no fenders, no running board, just a very sleek design. Believe it or not, this truck was only six feet tall at its highest point. Very small for a, a tanker truck back then or today. It had a six cylinder engine mounted in the rear of the truck. And get this, there was a microphone installed in the engine compartment connected to a speaker up here in the cab so that the driver could hear the engine and know when to change gears. How crazy is that? 
Hot Wheels hasn't used the Hall and Gas very much, uh, only 11 times total since it was released in 2011, but every single one of them has been a premium. This one is obviously red with the lion head logos on both sides. Uh, we've got a white roof panel, painted headlights and tail lights. We've got uh, painted marker lights, or not marker lights, but uh, clearance lights on the top. Got the Roar with Gilmore logo on the back. We've got a little sign on the doors that says guaranteed 100% paraffin base. I don't know what that means. I didn't take the time to look it up, but I'm assuming it has something to do with the fuel that they're selling. Um, obviously, this is on a metal base. It's got some really nice, wide, um, five-spoke real rider tires on it. Like I said, I think this is probably one of my favorite ones in the set. And a lot of it has to do just with that logo. Car number two is the 83 Chevy Silverado. Always a favorite for Hot Wheel collectors. This one is brought to us by Gulf Oil. Of course, everyone's familiar with Gulf and the Gulf livery on collectible die-cast cars. I myself like to collect Gulf cars. And I also like to collect pickup trucks, so this one is a double bonus for a person like myself. Gulf Oil was founded in 1901 in Pittsburgh and operated in its original form until 1985 when it merged with Standard Oil. 83 Silverado is a real popular square body truck that Hot Wheels has produced since 2008. They introduced a 4x4 version also in 2012. This Sylvie is all Gulf blue with orange rockers. A Gulf logo on the doors, the hood, and on the tailgate. You can also see the Silverado logo on the sides just in front of the doors. Right there. It's got detailed headlights in the grill, painted tail lights on the rear. And it's got what Mattel calls preferred series real rider wheels. Anyway, beautiful truck, going to be highly collectible. Number three is the Shell Oil 1978 Dodge Little Red Express. I remember seeing the Shell logo a lot as I was a kid as we would travel I-95 up and down the East Coast. The Royal Dutch Shell Company, as it is officially named, came about in 1907 when two rival companies, the Royal Dutch Petroleum Company and the Shell Transport and Trading Company in the UK linked up so that they could compete with Standard Oil. Shell is still going strong today. So strong, in fact, that by looking at 2019 revenue data, they are the fifth largest company in the world. The Dodge Little Red Express is a variant of a 1978 D-Series pickup. Dodge only used it in the 78 and 79 model years. And in 1978, there were less than 2,200 of these trucks produced. One of the standout features, of course, of the Little Red Express is these exhaust stacks on either side of the cab. Very easy, easily identifiable by just that feature alone. The original Hot Wheels uh, had stacks just like this one, like you would see on one of the actual trucks. And then... In 2018, for some reason, they switched the casting a little bit and went to some different stacks. It looks like for this year, they've brought the originals back, and I hope they stick with that. This version is almost all yellow with a little bit of white down here. Shell logo is on the doors. And you've got shell painted amongst a uh, white background there on the tailgate. There are detailed headlights in the grill. We've got painted tail lights on the back. On the fenders, they've added the Dodge logo and the Adventurer badge in there. Don't know if you can see that or not, but it's there. This one's got mag style real riders. Now, real quickly, I want to take a little detour here while talking about this truck and show you something that I noticed shortly after pulling all these cars out of the case. Take a look at the truck on the right you'll notice something's missing the stacks the exhaust stacks are the obvious issue and since the exhaust stacks are actually part 
of the same gray plastic interior body, this one is missing not only the stacks, but the entire interior part of the truck. Not only that, but the window piece is actually not, it's in there, but it's not attached. And I found that out when I kept moving this thing around and I'd hear it rattle every time it moved and finally figured out what was going on. So that's an interesting error for those of you who collect errors. This will be a good one. And uh, I'd be kind of curious to know how many of Hot Wheels premium cars actually make it to the shelves with an error, especially one that egregious. Pretty cool. Number four is the 1963 Studebaker Champ with the Valvoline oil livery. Valvoline is a name that we should all be familiar with, at least here in the U.S. Valvoline touts itself as being the country's first motor oil brand. The company was founded in 1866, just after the Civil War, and is currently the number two oil change service provider in the United States. The 63 Champ was a light duty truck made by Studebaker for the North American market. Mattel took it and lowered it and gave it a tonneau cover. In 1963, that was the first time that Studebaker had done a redesign of their trucks in 10 years. And since sales were slipping, they were strapped for cash. The bed box remained exactly the same uh, as many trucks from the previous years, but the cab was different. Now, since they didn't have money to do an entire redesign of the cab, what they decided to do was simply use the front half of the body of their new Lark four-door sedan. So the front half of this is a Studebaker Lark sedan. This champ is white with blue and red accent striping. The Valvoline logo is on the doors. There's a big old V on the hood. You've got Champ in script right back here, just in front of the tailgate on each side. You've got Studebaker embossed on the tailgate in blue. I love that. Once again, you have uh, some detail on the grill and the headlights. You've got painted tail lights. Going back to the grill, be sure and check that out pretty closely if you pick these up because you're not going to see a grill that looks a whole lot like that on any other trucks, probably because this is a grill for a four-door sedan. And this truck finally has what they call steely real rider wheels. Our final car is the 1938 Dodge Airflow. The oil company featured on this car is the Egypt oil company of Italy. It was founded in 1926 in Rome and in 1953 it morphed into a larger company called Eni. Also in the 1950s is when they came up with their awesome logo which is this six-legged dog breathing flames out of its mouth. The six legs originally symbolized the four wheels of a car and the two legs of its driver. Any is still headquartered today in Rome. The Dodge Airflow is a tanker truck that was made from 1934 until 1940 and used by several of the major oil companies. It's another very streamlined truck, though not as drastic as the Doodlebug. This one had a rather normal looking front grille and fenders uh, for its time period. This is only the fourth time Hot Wheels has ever used the Airflow tanker. It first appeared in 2012 and like the Hall & Gas has only been used in premium sets. The major color combo for this one is obviously yellow and black. It's got some red accent striping on the side. The Egypt and Six Leg Dog logos are on both sides and just the word Egypt on the back. There's some type of uh, equipment compartment that you can see here on the sides. Also we've got Dodge right there on the sides on the door. Painted tail lights and clearance lights on the top. Painted and detailed lights and grill up front. And this little area right here, the trunk if you will, this is the compartment that you would open up to expose the, uh, the gas pumps and hoses for actually filling up the fuel tanks. Steelies. This one also has the Real Rider Steelies. Another awesome looking truck. That's our show for this time. I gotta say, this is probably gonna end up being one of my favorite Hot Wheels sets of all time. Let us know what you think of it in the comments section. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 
and we'll see you next time.